Hello everyone! Welcome back to Let's Play! I don't know why I wanted to say Monster Hunter. Welcome back to Final Fantasy 16. Um, off screen I did do all the side quests. Uh, there was one that was kind of interesting right here. Um, basically a nobleman was buying Branded. Sending them out over here to protect his son from wolves. Turns out the wolf was actually trained to kill. And it would uh, hunt down the branded that appeared and eat them. Well, I popped up, got rid of the rabid dog. Kid got angry. Noble got angry, saying they were going to buy a bigger, uh, bigger, meaner dog. I buried the um, deceased branded that that were unfortunately a part of this, and came back and found out that the dog that they bought, the bigger, meaner one, um. Didn't quite like being told what to do. Yeah. Didn't end well for either of them. Um, as a side note, uh, Baywatch over here. Um, there are apparently a few watches that you can go to. West Watch, Baywatch, and there's East Watch over here, which are um, outposts for the Imperial Army. Or the Empire, uh, the Imperial Army. Yeah, Imperial Army. Um, this one actually had armor with it that I equipped called the Demon Tamer's Sash. So, neat. Um, I did also get enough ability points to max out all my core abilities again, with the exception of this useless taunt. Actually, no, I'm going to buy it just to have it. There we go. Now we have all the core abilities done. Um, and I also mastered Phoenix Shift. I have no clue what it does at level 2. Maybe it gives me, lets me do magic as well. No, I could do that beforehand. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe it's a, a distance thing. But yeah, um, that's all I did on screen. There was a lot of side quests. Either way, we're here in town. Let's go up to that abbey and continue the plot. Also, um, I watched a video on missable things. Um, there is one coming up, I believe, that will make the rest of the game early or easier. Uh, basically, when you reach a third of the way through the game, this, this side quest becomes available. And if you finish it, you gain a unique ability that will allow you to help you to traverse areas. So, we'll get to that when we get to that. You know, this this kind of reminds me of um, Dragon Quest Eleven. I think it is. No. The most recent one, um, <clears throat> uh, Elusive Age, I think it is. The one I have a video, a series up for. Well, I have two of them, but you know. Um, the one with the Luminary. Um, this reminds me of the church right outside of the first uh, capital. The Hillidorian Castle. You go down a hill. Yeah, it kind of reminds me of that. Open up. worth mentioning as i was telling jill it's worse than i thought the capital's crawling with soldiers and here i am the deserter come home which is why we'll be taking the back door
still. I'll take it a safer place in the Empire than ever. Really? Doesn't seem very private. So then, how do we proceed? We'll be using the glass gate. For now, just after sunset. Where the shards are loaded for transport. That is one of the most heavily guarded points in all of Sambrek. But not the most, which is a start. Besides, I know a shortcut straight to the heart. A shortcut? And how exactly did you come to know about this fatal chink in the Empire's armor? Let's just say I may have attempted something similar before. And may have ended up running for dear life after being discovered by Bahamut, but that's not important. Sid, if the mother crystals truly are the cause of the black... If? Do we mean to? What I'm trying to say is, if the powers that be know all of this, why do they sit idle and allow it to continue? In case you haven't noticed, the God-fearing people of this realm and their pious leaders care for but one thing, themselves. And they'll do whatever it takes to hold on to power. The rest of us are just a means to an end. The moment you raise your voice against them, you're decried as an outlaw. Clapped in irons and slung in a cell to rot. An outlaw. Whoever controls the crystals controls the realm. But our kind can wield magic without them. To our rulers, we must seem the most convenient of tools. And the most dangerous. But what makes them think they have the right to use us? To leave us to die in our bodies of stone? Does a nobleman weep for a broken mug? A torn tunic? Our fate means nothing to them. No, this isn't a battle you can win with words. Believe me, I've tried, but nothing ever gets through. The world is simply not ready to listen. So to hell with talking. If they won't give us a say, we'll decide our fate another way. You can't blame a man for wanting to bring an end to all this, can you? I can't. But what of all the people you mean to rob of their comforts? Are you happy for them to call you outlaw? Sid the outlaw. Ah, that'll do me. You might at least pretend to take this seriously. Have a little faith, Jill. Even if you don't think much of my choice of digs. If it means my deeds will be remembered, I'll gladly play the role of villain. But first, we have a gate to crash. And once we're in, there'll be no turning back. Be your best mate ready. The world won't save itself. As a final side note, something I've been kind of meaning to mention. Um, according to the, uh, lore of this game, of this world, I should say, you find in a thousand tomes, um, the dominant of Rama, Rama is unique in some ways. Um, not only do you get the power, he's also viewed as a, um, uh, a judge type of character. Reason why he carries a staff and why... He controls the lightning. He is the judge on a high type of a deal. Um, it's also believed that any dominant of Rama taking on his power also grants them some sort of knowledge or um, intellect beyond what most people can see. And Sid seems to be playing that role pretty well. Um, as a side note, um, apparently some some higher-ups in the military, at the least, uh, in the Empire, don't like the treatment of the Branded. Um, one of the side quests I did actually involved um, one of these higher generals wanting to properly feed and care for the Branded, 
But if he so much as tries to even suggest that, he could be stripped of his title and position. Possibly even thrown in uh, the gallows for it. So he had us uh, deliver food to them, which is something he's been doing in secret um, for ages, apparently. So it's nice to see that. Oh, I like that. That's actually useful. It tells you, like, hey, you're about to go somewhere. You may lose some stuff. Uh, let's see if the hideaway has any updates first. Automatic <clears throat> changed. Nothing new here. And let's check this. Look. Alright, and we're good. Always something. Actually, let, let, let me read uh, the Rama entry. <laughs> Just to show what I was talking about. Well. Oh, like this old... So, um, it would be Mysteries of the... No, Bestiary. So curious who this is. It's the last of the uh, icons that we don't know yet. Rama, the Warden of Thunder, whose power most like most lately awakened in Sidolphus Telamon. The icon is known as the ruler, or known uh, is known the realm over as a symbol of judgment, no doubt inspired by its sage mane and the scepter with which it summons its laven bolts. Folklore has it that not only as do not only are dominance of Rama blessed with the command of lightning, they also grant a deeper understanding of the true nature of the world. Did you learn everything you need? So yeah. I'm also kind of curious what these lines are. They don't look like roads. Let's do this. Other than level grinding, I've nothing else, to, nothing else to do. And I can get an item later on that'll make things easier. For that. Fortunate the city guard doesn't take sentry assignments as seriously as you do. This bodes well. Hmm. Maybe a first. This may not be such a terrible turn after all. And what exactly is that supposed to mean? Only that your last secret shortcut was nowhere near as secret as you claimed. Uh, that's half the fun of it. Life's too short for perfect plans. If you want a plan that'll keep you on your toes and stop you growing old and complacent. Worked for you, has it? Life, my boy. Even life's smallest challenges offer the opportunity to grow and to change. You must embrace these moments. Allow them to suffuse your heart with a deep sense of fulfillment. <sighs> Narrowly escaping death at the hands of an enemy is not my idea of fulfillment. Hmm. Nothing wrong? Not at all. Just wondering if the two of you had finished. Right. We make for the Mother Crystal's heart to take plans. Destroy it, and the whole thing should come tumbling down. And if the passage to the Inner Sanctum is guarded? Then we embrace the moment and use it to grow and change. I love the little friendship between um, Clive and Sid. It's a damn shame he's probably going to die. <laughs> I'm only saying that just because I freaking it, it's it's so freaking painfully obvious. The passage is empty. Like uh Clive's father. That was like I just read that out out of nowhere, like, oh he's gonna die.
just haven't stood in our party. Alright, let's, let's just clear out the room. He has a distance buff. I wouldn't have made that beforehand. So three dominants walk into a castle. It doesn't remain. <laughs> That must have been some rotting wood. You never stood a chance. You're welcome. The main tunnel. That would be my guess. There are sentries everywhere. Go. Cave is dark. Come on, bring us some torch bugs. Let's let this place up. And all good things must come to an end. We might have a bit more company from now on. <sighs> Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. At the least. All right, let's go. Captain, two arms. Two men. Summon the cannoneer. Get down here. Let him deal with that. Let them deal with that. How do you do? Oh yeah, definitely distance thing. Ow! Yeah, you died. Insects come to be squashed. You will find my mortar and I only too happy to oblige. He's a talker. Then let's shut him up. <laughs> All right, set up, Brian. Let's do this. My limit break put it back pretty quickly, so. Do you feel that? Something in the air. Ether. It's ether. I think we better make this quick. Ether. What's happening? I've been having um, Torball be my default pretty much the entire time for now.
Is that hit his version of a limit break? Jesus. Alright, let's light it. Let's fuck her up. There we go. Yeah, it does a lot of damage. Jeez. Man, fuck this guy. I'm assuming Akashic is going to be their version of a fucking uh, limit break, which is nice that they're including that for enemies. Annoying that they're including that for enemies. Look at what Akashic is in this freaking game. I know what they are in mythology, but. Uh, the Akashic are the Akashic Records. They are a uh, series of books and knowledge that have been lost to history, apparently, according to mythology at least, that contains every bit of knowledge between heaven and hell. Heaven, hell, and earth, so you everything, pretty much. So it's interesting that they include that as a uh, their thing. Ooh. No way for anyone to go. Come on. God, duty's a death sentence in this place. Not with Sylvester Kerr. So my assumption is that going Akashic is like Mako poisoning from Seven, where you take in too much of the element, in this case ether, and you just lose yourself to it. In um seven, Mako poisoning was a major problem. Us. 
but I'd rather not find out what he's done to everyone else. I'm also curious about Torval. What if the Mother Crystals are the remains of gods? That's a, a fancy trope that's never really explained. Or never used very often. So the ether flood would be it. They, those guards at the gate, they weren't there to keep people out. They were there to keep the Akashic in. Oh boy. Wouldn't this mean our magic would be like super powered as well now? An abundance of aether just powering us up. I love the little bromance, so good! Alright, what we got? Oh, that's gorgeous! Warcry, some opponents are used to, to, to invigorate themselves, enhancing performance in battle. Okay. So keep an eye out for people who can roar cry. Gotcha. I can't. That was fun. So where do we need to go? That way, so we're gonna look around here first. Oh come on. Ooh, I can just climb on that. Nope. Invisible wall. So I'm assuming this is a mother crystal mining spot. Game is 
those. I don't see much else. I'll probably end up looking up uh, a guide on uh, stuff in these areas, and if I find stuff that I like, oh, I should get that. I'll do the stage replay. Tell you all next set. That's where we need to go. That. Overnight, nice. Yeah, I figured that's gonna be the case. I was gonna say I'm gonna keep this as my triangle until I get a freaking E fruit one. I'm like, oh wait, I have limit breaks. That's his, that's his version of that. Starting to get Final Fantasy IX vibes, the uh, spot underneath the Black Mage Village. Not under the Black Mage Village, the place where you find out where how Black Mages are made. I'm not sure if that's intentional, but if it is, that's a nice little callback. Oh god, it's one of you. Plow through you. Kinda stuck. There we go. Yeah, get bent, buddy. Thank you, Torgal. No, I'm probably gonna get out of that corner, because that corner's kind of screwing me. heal up a bit. Back on your knees, bitch. I did get an upgrade at some point in time that gave me the increase to my, my heat wave damage. I'm not sure where I got it, though. Oh, I remember now. Um, I got it in... Um, uh, Northreach, I think? The plains between, uh, the, in, in the Royal Meadows. Um... There was a side off uh, t uh, that I ran up to and gave it, gave it to me. Completely forgot about that. Alright, 
Um, actually, hold on. I could read about the Akashic. This will change the beings of exposure to Aether, get stripped of any intelligence or sense of self they once had. Yeah, it's basically, yeah. Maka poisoning. Why am I partly on fire? Not complaining, it, was, it looked cool, but why was I burning? <laughs> Coral sword. I remember reading that this was missable. They replaced that wooden door with something a little more sturdy. On the counter three. Three. <laughs> what happened to two? Ask one. Once more. Aye, seems you're trying. That was gonna keep us out. Did they not? Oh, they didn't even bore it into the walls and give it freaking defense or a support structure. That's. It's like you don't. It's, it's like you kind of want people in here. You're not even trying. The mother crystal's just up ahead. Is it? I can't see a thing. Well, unless someone's moved it. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I decided to move it to my backyard, you know, it was, was kind of in the way. That looks gorgeous. Big, but this there, that's our way into the inner sanctum. You'd think that it patched that up by now. Sorry, straight there. Seek with Bahama ended here. A tragic cost to this remarkable architecture. Don't blame me, he started it. But how did he make it out alive? I walked. You should try it. This is obviously a trap. Like, seriously. Um, <laughs> if that has been there this entire time, and there's no guards at all stationed here, then they're either, A, super arrogant, which, mm, possible, B, uh, they think you're already dead, which brings in the arrogance part, or C, it's a trap. Like, if, if I, if this was power, was basically my reactor that was keeping my entire kingdom living, 
that wouldn't be there. And if it was still there, I would have sentries and guards staring at that wall 24-7. Like, that's just... Pain... It's obvious. This place is also called the Path of the... Of the Goddess. But how could those creatures from Phoenix Gate be here in the mines? And the two places connected somehow. Maybe the fall... Okay. I had this thought a while ago. Um... It, it, they just reminded me of it. What if the Mother Crystals were power sources for the Fallen Empire when they were in space? And their um, uh, icons were sort of like engineers or, or powers or something to protect them. Because, hold on a second. One... Two, three, four, five. There are three crystals missing then, if my theory is correct. Uh, one for each mother crystal to protect. Um, and when the Fallen Empire fell, these were remained, but they still had the power in them, and it just kept sucking up energy from the uh, environment. Or what if the icons are the Fallen? What's left of them? It wouldn't be the first time they've hinted to aliens in a Final Fantasy game. Look at poo poo. I saw a cure, motherfucker. Not to mention the uh, progenitors in Final Fantasy VIII. And uh, Genova in Seven. She came from the. She came from space. Hell, there are beliefs that um, almost, almost, con pretty much confirmed, but not explicitly stated. So you know, all but confirmed that uh, Final Fantasy X is a prequel to Final Fantasy VII, with um, Genova being a summoner, and. Um, Shinro actually mentions plans on uh, harvesting the life force of a planet. Much like Shinro Electrical Company. Did not mean to use that, I meant to use that. Oh well. Uh, how is also a region effect too, isn't it? Apparently, I've been leveling up Tor uh, Torgal. Right underneath your swing, buddy. Ow. Demi. 
bitch. I mean, Lich. <laughs> Lich, please. I'm gonna look up how to level up Torgal a bit more. I'll show what I mean in a second. Ow. Ow! That was kind of a counterattack. So yeah, um, I noticed this a while back. Yeah, see? Fangs of Ruin, ooh! So I'm kind of curious if I can use, if I can level up, because it looks like I should be able to. But I'm not sure how. Open. There we go. When I was in the Imperial Army. Soldiers assigned to the glass gate would tell stories about something they called the Guardians. Can't say I saw anything like that when I was last here. Then again, I can't say I made it stuff. Let's just be careful then. Guardian, lovely. Oh, this just screams battle. Can I go over here and get stuff? That's just freaking huge. Where did that come from? If I had to guess. Poor beast. Another victim of the flood. Side note, um, according to uh, lore in this game, dragons are considered holy and revered. Oh boy, I'm trying to lock on something besides its head. No, it's only its head. So just said. Alright, I gotta get to its back so I can get some uh, extra damage on it. Woo! It really does remind me of Monster Hunter World. Jeez. Should've done this before I transform my limit. Are 
Alright, where's it going? Where's he off to now? Oh lord. Okay, baby. Not done with that. Come on. Oh, wait. That was a pretty smooth counter, you got that man. Alright, so just three fireballs, I have to dodge those before I do my... Or two, two fireballs and counter the third, gotcha. God, you're gorgeous though. I have wings too, buddy. Let's go. Dragon dance? Oh no. Woo! That's a really cool combo though. <coughs> Gotta admit. Oh, that was close. That was super close. Keep it going, Torgal. Oh, no, Eddie. One, two, fireballs. One, two, three. Oh Lord, nope. Oh. <sighs> Keep it going, buddy. Come on, come on, come on. So close. Oh. Give me some good. Give me something good. Ugh. Are you all right? Fine. The Sanctum lies just beyond. Chances are the Palace Guard knows we're here. We should move. 
not one of these same from my mood Sundays run into a place of watery Christmas tea but Clive mm. if this all works and the blessing fades things are likely to get worse for our kind before they get better being the last to wield ether will make our talents that much more sought after by which I mean hinted just hope in the end they'll see that we didn't have any other choice that it was the only way to get us to a better place and here I was thinking I was the uncertain one luckily two out of three of us have faith in you then it all starts here time to earn that menacing title. Sid the Vicious, was it? I wonder if that's a reference to Sid Vicious. Alright, this set's definitely gonna go, go, uh, going to go a little bit longer because I really want to see what's going to happen. I'm just going to save. Uh, I think with abilities. Not that I really use, so. Actually, five off from that. Although. Alright. Second thought? Not me. We're with you to the end, Walter. Then what are we waiting for? I'm so curious how this is gonna play out. Nice. There, no. Alright, just a little bit of gore shadowing. That's pretty. Hello everyone, this is a quick little uh, feature update, in case you can't tell by the different quality of mic. Um, I lost track of time during this set and recorded over two hours of content. Now I don't want to upload purely a two hour long video for you guys, so I'm going to cut this set up into two parts. Next week will be the continuation of this in set 13. I apologize. I understandably get a little swapped, uh, wrapped up in the story. So, sorry, but I hope you guys are looking forward to it next time. Bye-bye.